I'm Adam Perry at The Last Game Store, and you're watching The Game Code. Welcome back. Without any further ado, let's go check out Ian and what he's got for us in the next installment of Gaming Gear. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gaming Gear. We got a new backdrop and a keyboard for you to look at. Stay tuned to see what's coming up. So today we got Strike 7, keyboard from Mad Cats. I believe of the uh, Cyborg Edition, and this keyboard is quite special. They claim to be that this keyboard is the best keyboard in the world for gamers. We're gonna see if that's true or not. But from what I can see, this keyboard is all about being customizable, all about being gaming, and all about being pretty fun to play around with and make all kinds of adjustments. Let's see what this thing can actually do. So now that we have all the parts of the keyboard out on the table in front of us, we can actually talk about the hardware, which is very important, especially when you get into the price range of this category, which is roughly $329, depending where you buy it from, it fluctuates. Now, the hardware itself, I'm personally impressed because the keyboard is actually made from metal frame, which is good. It does not have the cheap plastic feel, which a lot of keyboards have, even in this price range. Now, the actual customizability of it is amazing. Now, the whole mentality behind it which the uh, makers of these keyboards had, is that since you can customize your key controls, or you can customize your keys when you're actually playing games, why can't you customize the actual controller? Because essentially what it allows you to do is it allows you to put the numpad, the programmable keys that you have here, or the actual main piece in any orientation you want. And let's not forget the main part of the keyboard, since probably why it's so expensive, is that we actually have the programmable and uh, touch LCD screen in here. When it comes to positioning the actual screen that comes with the keyboard, there are a few positions you can uh, uh, have it in. Um, the screen has a little kickstand at the back, uh, made of plastic and the rest piece is made from metal. Um, so that allows you to actually have the screen by itself somewhere on the table or you know just off to the side of the keyboard depending on the space that you have. Or you can attach it to the actual numpad. So again, same, mech same uh, idea where you just pop it in and then you have it on this side of the keyboard. Now, if you decide to take it out and you want to put it on this side of the keyboard, you can also do that. So, it really comes down to the way you want to play the game and you, where you want to have the screen located. And it fits in quite nicely in there. So, you can do that as well. Personally, I think it would be absolutely great if the same guys that make this keyboard could sell this screen separately, because then I would be able to actually mount it on my screen and without having to buy the whole keyboard. I guess you could do that too, but uh, I don't have that much money to spend. So, if I could just buy the screen and have it mounted on my screen, uh, the one I used to game on, that would be absolutely amazing because the functionality of this is actually quite impressive. Now that the whole keyboard is assembled magically with the power of editing, we actually have um, the basic setup that you expect out of a regular keyboard. Now with the screen itself, it has a lot of functions as is without adding anything to it. Um, the screen is touch, as I said before, and it has all the basic things. So you could have, um, using the computer uh, software that they provide you, um, you can have different applications set up on the screen. So if you want to put your Photoshop, if you want to put on your uh, Google Chrome or whatever you use, you can have all the applications here and you can launch them directly through the screen. Uh, now you have your basic music controls. Um, you could download some customizable software or the software that allows you to have your own player, but the basic player is great, works. Uh, that's not really uh, anything special. You got the standard volume control, so you can have the control of the volume of the microphone as well as the actual um, system volume. Uh, again, you can download more, so more software to actually have uh, further controls. Now, this keyboard comes with something like 16 million uh, different LED backlight colors, and uh, we'll show it actually how it looks. And keep in mind, this is what comes with the keyboard. All the actual software that is specific to the game that you're playing you're gonna have to get that by yourself and there's plenty of forums, plenty of communities that have that available. So there's a lot of support. And just in general, this screen is pretty much can be what you want it to be with the right software. So um, I'd imagine, especially with all the macro buttons that you can have in there, uh, if you actually you know, activate it, you can have 
a bunch of buttons in there. So I believe with the three modes, so this is uh, with the, each of these buttons corresponds to the separate mode of macroable keys. With each mode, you can actually have up to 72 macro commands. So if you're an MMO player, I think this is just a lifesaver for you. We can have uh, custom presets that you make yourself, or you can go, go download it from uh, Curse Gaming or whatever is your site of choice, and get all these things in there and then have an easier gaming experience and dominate your opponent. So that's really cool. So as a final verdict, this keyboard is actually really great. It has awesome features and its customization is absolutely great. Now, one of the negative points for me personally is the price point. I think it's a little bit too high. If it was brought down to $250 or so, I would personally get it right away. Now, the actual screen itself, I believe should be also sold separately so you can actually use it for other keyboards and games and all the customization and programming needs. The actual keys themselves, I personally like the feel. Again, it's not mechanical. And the other negative point about the keys that I forgot to mention in my hardware review is that the keys are tiered. That meaning that if you're actually going down from the top uh, layer or rather top tier to the bottom uh, tier, you're going to have an easy transition of your hand. If you're going up, you're actually going to bump into keys. So it works for some people, it doesn't work for others. Just be aware if you're planning to buy it. Overall though, the product is great, has really good feel, very innovative features, and an amazing build quality. So I recommend it to you. And this is it for this segment of Gaming Gear. If you have any questions or suggestions, let us know on our Facebook page. My name is Ian Burkowski, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Ian. That keyboard looks pretty awesome. Now, don't go anywhere because after the break, we're going to have Mike Daniels here in studio to talk to you guys about fighting games and streaming. Stay tuned.